Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. How's everybody doing? All right. All right. And uh, the pastor asked me not too long ago, a few weeks ago, he said, you know, I want you to come out and do a little comedy, make the people laugh a little bit. And I said, okay, cool. And that's cool because, you know, we all come to church and we all get bogged down with church. And, you know, we, we get tired, but we keep pressing our way on. And I know this month, everybody, you know about that fast, right? Yeah. And you remember that fast? Let me hear you say yeah. Yeah. The fast was hard. I don't know if it was hard for everybody else, but the fast was hard for me. Because some days, you know, it's kind of hard to keep up with the day on, day off, everything like that. So sometimes, you know, you get caught up on a day that you're supposed to be on and you don't know that you're supposed to be on. And you be kind of off. But I ain't doing so bad this time. I remember one time we were supposed to be fasting at another church and... They say, you know, we're going to fast, we ain't going to eat nothing on Tuesdays and Thursdays this week. But then the second, we're going to do Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Then the third week, we're just going to do Friday. And I had got all scheduled, so one day I was sitting up in the store, you know, in the restaurant, and I'm eating a burger. And one of the ministers rolled up on me, hey, brother, what you eating right there? And I'm sitting there with a the burger in my hand. He said, brother, put the burger down. And so I went to go put the burger down. He was like, well, you matter of fact, just let me get a little piece of that. I'm going to let me get a little piece little piece of that. Man, how many of y'all married? Have you married? Let me hear you say, let's get a little clap. If you looking to be married one day, let me hear you clap. I just want to give y'all a few warnings before you get into this whole married thing. Everybody's eager to get married until they say I do. Once that happens, it's just, you know, you kind of a little pause. You know, and maybe there's a reason for that. I heard a story that when God first made man, Right? He made Adam. And then Adam looked around and he saw all the other animals, you know. The lion had a lioness, you know. The rooster had a hen. The monkey had whatever you call a female monkey. You know. And so Adam looked up and he said, God, how come I don't have whatever you call a female monkey? Right? And so he looked around and God said, well, you know what? You don't, do you, Adam? So he said, how about this? I got something for you. I'll make you a wife. And she'll be everything you ever dreamed of. She'll worship the ground you walk on. She'll cook for you every day. She'll clean that house for you. She'll rub your back when you're feeling bad. Rub your feet when your feet hurt. Pastor, you with me on this one, right? Rub your feet when your feet hurt. And so Adam said, okay, God. Let me get one of those. He said, all right, it's going to cost you an arm and a leg. So Adam said, well, what can I get for a Rita? <laughs> now, but you got to love your wife, men. You got to love your wife, wife. You got to love your husband. Because your, your spouse will do some things that just make you laugh that nobody else gets to see. I remember one time we was in church. And I think we had stayed up late the night before. We were sitting over on the side, and uh, El Elder Junior was uh, preaching that Sunday. Pastor was gone. Elder, Elder Joe was preaching. And Stephanie, my wife, was falling asleep. Now, don't nobody else really, nobody else really seen it, but she was falling asleep. And she had got to the point where she didn't want everybody to know she was asleep, so she was kind of nodding off in her lap. But she had the Bible opened up on her lap to make it look like she was reading. And so she started nodding off. And you know, when preachers preach, every once in a while, you just got to nod your head, you know, to make it seem like you're behind them. Because she was doing that in her sleep. She was just nodding, not really listening, but she was nodding. So Junior got up and he started preaching. He said, how many of y'all think y'all just bigger than God? And she was... <laughs> and she was nodding. And Junior just kept on going. I'm like, I wonder if he sees this. He said, does anybody just want to go to hell? And she... <laughs> and she was nodding on and keep going. <laughs> and I had to nudge her. I'm like, baby, you nodded at all the wrong time. <laughs> and they give this on a tape. Somebody gonna think you just wrong. <laughs> Dude, we watch it on TV. They should even start pouring the oil on her right now. She is just a heat. 